the front page of The Sun. Yeah, uh, I blew the whistle on Savile, but the BBC ignored me. This is uh, TV director David Nicholson, who worked with Jimmy, said he found him in his dressing room with a girl who looked maybe 15 or 16. He told the bosses and they said that's the way it goes. That's a, tra that's a tragedy of this, actually, and more and more of it is emerging. Um, it is awful if you have reported it and somebody says to you, hey, that's Jimmy, you know, that's just the way it goes. And more and more of that is actually coming out. The other thing that I find really disturbing is the fact that nurses in Stoke Mandeville were saying to little children, go to sleep, pretend you're asleep, because Jimmy's mm. doing his rounds. Um, I mean, it's awful that they actually and said that. And he had a room there. And, you know, and that, Jimmy doing his rounds, the fact that mm. he had the freedom of doing rounds in a hospital. I think that's what a lot and of people I'm shocked about room. is that it's nurses as well. I'm not totally blaming nurses, of course I'm not, yeah. but people in a position of authority and with a duty of care were going, well, we all know what Jimmy's like, careful children, pretend you're asleep. It's quite shocking. That's, that's horrendous, that, isn't it? And I, I mean, I, I think that anyone who draws too much attention to their, their charity work you know, the, the, we, we, you know, it's one of those things that you do silently and you hope that, that the sort of praise comes at another level. But, but, but obviously, you know, he's a very prolific charity worker and it just makes you wonder, was this some sort of smokescreen for, for him realising he's offsetting well, was, some of the bad things in his life? There was pain and effort involved in it. It wasn't just the odd, you know, 5K yeah. run or whatever. It was marathon after marathon. What do you think, Laura? I, I believe he was passionate about the fundraising side and I actually don't necessarily agree with you about the smokescreen. I think that maybe... The fact that he could, and the fact that all this availability uh, became came his way, um, and you know we can only we can only work in alleged terms, you know. But mm. again, I, I read a report from one of the top authority in, in BBC today, and they said, you know, this um, documentary they were doing on Newsnight, and allegedly he said that well, you see, it was a particularly sensitive issue because we had lots of tributes coming up. They had, yes. and I watched them, yes. and that, that annoys me more than anything. I feel you feel let down by the BBC, because at Christmas, I thought, really good documentaries, and I came away thinking, what a great guy he was. We'll be sadly missed. Now you just sort of feel, how stupid was I? But, mm. it, but it's like this alleged monster now is emerging, you know, day after day and getting bigger, a bigger monster all the time, versus the enormous fundraising that he did. So my bottom line question is, does the fact that he raised 40 million, 50 million pounds, did that really outweigh any kind of chastising within a hospital and say, oh, no, 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 don't say that because, oh, gosh, he saved lives in this hospital yeah. because he's raised £40 million. Pounds. That's what I, it seems. I wonder, is that now theme. outweighing? I mean, and I can't justify any of it, I'm not saying that. But it's, it's even weirder, though, that the, the, the fact that he wasn't some sort of mafia boss. There should be this whole sort of secrecy for whatever it was, 40 years, that people were too scared to come out and talk about mm. it. You know, he wasn't going to go and kill people, was he? But no. was it because he was so enormous as a personality, was so mega, as you say, as a personality, was such an enormous fundraiser that people did turn that blind eye? So it's blind well, Gloria, eye, you, you opposite were, fundraiser. You were, there, you were there in the 80s on yes. Radio 2, and we, we hear today a fourth big-name television star has been accused of targeting underage girls. Did you hear things? I, I must say I didn't, and I, I, I did do a Jim and Fix It, and I did interview Jimmy Savile on the run in marathons and I promised you, you couldn't keep up with him um, but I never saw anything untoward in that sense whatsoever but I but I, I, I do feel that he put passion into the fundraising side but it's just awful that this alleged monster is now appearing mm. parallel that, that, to that that legacy is going to be forgotten now though isn't it the the, the the millions he did raise for charity for Stoke Mandeville you know that that is not well, going to be a lot of people ringing into you know access programs saying my life was saved because of a machine mm. that he bought you know th there's a balance out there I think because people a have very people, mixed feelings. Yes, mm. a yeah. feelings that their yeah. child has been helped at Stoke Mandeville where he raised money. That's right. It's very hard to not appreciate that. But like we said lots more to come. I'm sure we'll be talking about this for Sadly, a few I weeks. Think every Sadly, day you're going to hear let's more move and more on people. to to life.